All right, guys, this should be like a review. Um, I'm hoping it's a review, but we're gonna touch base a little bit on standard form and slope intercept form a little bit, okay? So just as a reminder, standard form looks like this. We have ax plus by equals c, and here's an example. So if we have 8x plus 4y equals 16, um, it's important to remember that A, B, and C are all real numbers. Okay, so just a reminder, they're numbers, okay? Um, Slope-intercept form, this is the one that we all know and love so much, um, is when we have Y equals MX plus B where m is our slope and b is the y-intercept, okay? So just as a reminder, slope is our rise over run, okay? Um, rise over run. So remember, we count up and down when we have our rise and run, we count right and left. Okay, so we have our rise over run, so we count up or down and left or right, okay? The y-intercept is where we cross the y-axis, okay? Um, and just a reminder, you guys remember slope, dude. Um, so we have a positive slope that goes up, a negative slope goes down, a zero slope is in the form y equals a number, and that is our horizontal line. And then undefined, remember he falls down the cliff? That's our vertical line. And vertical is the equation x equals a number, and horizontal is y equals a number. Okay, why am I showing all of this to you? Um, the reason I'm showing this all, all of this to you, and um, obviously you can pause this and copy this down if you're like, oh crap, I forgot, or even this up here, you know, um, is because over the next few weeks, we are going to be graphing lines, okay? Which means we need to know y equals mx plus b form. We need to know what these mean so that way we can graph them on a coordinate plane. But the reason I'm also throwing standard form back in there is because on your EOC in May, they're going to give you standard form way more often than they're going to give you slope-intercept form. So it's important to remember how to go from standard form to slope-intercept form. Okay, so remember here are some steps. How do you solve for y? Okay. Identify what is with y that you need to get rid of. Move all your terms without y to the opposite side by using the opposite sign. So if it's positive, we subtract it because they're opposites. If it's negative, we add it because they're opposites. Okay. To get y totally alone by undoing multiplication using division. Okay, so that means we divide everything on both sides. And just as a reminder, if it's in standard form, okay, this is to me the easiest way to remember how to get from standard form to slope intercept. If it's in standard form, kick out your x and divide up your stuff. Okay, kick up your x, divide up your stuff. I'm going to pause the video in just a second and I've got some examples for you. Okay. So the directions tell me identify the slope, y-intercept, x-intercept. You see some white out here. It's because I got rid of the x-intercept questions because um, are they important? Yes, right now we don't need them, okay? Then graph each line. So notice right here it says to graph, type the equations into y equals in your calculator and plot the points from the table. Can you do that with every single one of them on here? Like right here. Absolutely you can. But that doesn't help you fully understand what it is I'm asking you to do, okay? So I'm asking you to look at the y, um, or I'm asking you to use the slope-intercept form and just graph these, okay? So first thing I notice, remember, slope-intercept y equals m 
x plus b. So the very first thing that we graph every single time is the y-intercept. Okay, so I know that it's going to cross the y-axis at positive 3. So I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, boom. There we go. Step 1, y-axis. Step 2 is we count our slope. Remember, we have rise over run, okay? Slope is always going to be the number directly in front of the x, okay? Right next to it, okay? Um, so in this case, our slope, so notice down here, I give you some space. Um, our slope is 4 fifths, and our y-intercept is 3, okay? So what this slope is telling me is that we go up 4, because it's positive 4, and the 5 is also positive, so instead, in, if we're counting up 4, we're going to count right 5. Okay? Up 4, right 5. So you're going to notice, too, we run out of space here. Okay? So in order, I, I can't really count up to right 5. Um, it'll be like over here or something. Um, but what I'm going to do, it's probably a little higher than that actually, is I'm going to count backwards, okay, to find the point before. So instead of counting up four, I'm going to count down four. And instead of counting right five, I'm going to count left five. This will give me the point before, okay? So if I count down four, one, two, three, four, left five, one, two, three, four, five. There's the point. And then, where's my ID? I'm not used to wearing one, so, okay, here we go. And then we connect the dots using our ID. So I was, I was about right, I was pretty close, look at that. Ding, ding, okay, there's our line. So if I wanted to turn this equation into standard form, okay? Remember, standard is ax plus by equals c. That means I need to move the slope and the x to the other side in front of the y. So if it's positive, I'm going to make it negative, 4 fifths x. Okay, so if I subtract it from one side, I have to subtract it from the other. Okay. So the standard form becomes negative 4 fifths x plus y equals 3. Okay? Now there's some other tips and tricks when it comes to fractions. A lot of people don't like the fractions. That's fine. Um, and there's ways to get rid of it, but they're also kind of complicated. So we'll skip them for now. Okay? We'll come back to it. All right, look at example number 2. Okay? Remember, y equals mx plus b. First thing we're going to graph is that y-intercept. Notice it's a negative 3, so that means our y-intercept is at negative 3. Okay? Our slope comes right in front of the x. Stark, there's nothing in front of the x. Correction, there's always something in front of the x. It's the understood one. Okay, one is the same thing as one over one. So I'm gonna count up one, right one. So starting at my y-intercept, I'm gonna count up one, right one. I'm going to do a couple of dots so I have a good general sense of the line. Let me get my ID. Ooh. And we'll connect the dots. Okay, so there we go. There's our, uh, there's our line. Okay. Notice my slope is positive, so my line should be going up. Okay, um, so the standard form is I'm going to take the x, I'm going to move it to the other side, and when I move it to the other side, it becomes negative 
So we get negative x plus y equals negative 3. Okay? Do me a favor, watch the next video.